everybody. This is Night of Misfortune with... Yeah, I think my channel is called that. <laughs> Anyhow, today I am beginning... Well, I began it already, but I'm going to be um, begin making the game with you guys with this wonderful program RPG Maker VX Ace. And, uh, which I got on Steam on a sale, which is pretty bad ace. Um, I have to say, first of all, I will teach you guys some things because I have learned quite a bit since I got it uh, about five days ago. Um, but I am by no means an expert. But here is what you can expect to see by the end of... Hopefully today, because I hope by the end of, by 12 around, I will have this. Now, I have turned off the sound, because I am not going to be doing sounds until probably the very end or later. So, in order to not bother you, I am just, I turned those off, and you shouldn't be able to hear that, but here we are. So, unfortunately, you do have to, you do have to stick with, um, with uh, this kind of resolution, RPG Maker won't let you do anything else. But you can go full screen. I just choose not to because this is faster, and I can minimize and go away. And you know, so as you could tell, I will teach you how to do the intro videos. I will teach you how to do this custom menu because uh, without this, if I can show you actually, let me see. Without it, without all this, it would just simply look like this like that and there is no intro as you can see so and then you can obviously um, begin your adventure I will teach you how to insert all of this and then change your text so for now I don't have classes as you saw there because um, uh, I'm going to be doing all the battling systems and items later. Right now, I, I just wanted to work out the core of the system, which I have. So, and then you can like input your name, which is pretty standard. Uh, most of this, some of the stuff that um, does not require. Um, I don't know how to delete. Actually, I don't think I've ever deleted. Whatever, let's call ourselves Nim. It doesn't matter. As I was saying, most of this stuff doesn't require, uh, some of this stuff doesn't require scripts, but for the most part, I have a lot of scripts. I will show you this later. But uh, So here, this is pretty gimmicky, but with that, this is actually not using a script, and there are scripts for this, but I didn't really like any of them. So it's kind of gimmicky. You have to select the number by going up and down. So let's select seven, the guy with mustache, and Kind of sort of shoots you here. I gotta fix the alignment of um, of this text here, but we can do that later. Um, so you can choose your look, or you can press nine to go back. And actually, we can enter a um, another option here to go back because I actually can go back and select the female option here for now. But let's select I don't know random number three, and then let's select one. Or seven, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then it puts you here. I am not sure, like, it's just started doing this, but we'll see if it's still doing that and then we can fix it. And then uh, what I really like is all of this. Now, this doesn't have uh, some of the options that I implemented a bit later, but um, you can really see this menu is taking part. Now, this is like the biggest part of where all the mods come in. So. Yeah, you can go into journal. Uh, journal doesn't work right now, but in the other one, I, I can show you actually here. This is where I was testing it. So there's actually like crafting and um, the journal. So as you can see, you can do this. And then recipes, you can do that. And then um, inventory, pretty cool. I, I like this system. And I got to fix this picture too because this... Uh, this red part has to come down, but we can do that later. So, yeah, I will teach you how to do this. So let me actually, I just want to check if I have any viewers on my thing. Probably not. Never. All right, so first thing, I guess, is the basic tutorial for you completely, who are completely new to RPG Maker. Uh, the controls are very, very easy, in my opinion. 
the majority of the difficulty where RPG Maker comes in is the scripting, which are like all here. Uh, but honestly, all you do is copy and paste for the majority of the time. Uh, you will need to fine tune it, but that's optional. But if you want to make them work together, the majority of the time of those five days, I knew how to do work with scripts, but I was figuring out what the actual author was doing in that script and trying to make it to what I wanted. Because uh, those uh, elements in here, the menu for um, uh, the menu for journal and recipes, weren't in it, and I had to go through quite a bit of trouble to actually get those to work in this modded script. Okay, um, yeah, so let's go over the basic controls. So obviously you have the um, the drop downs, but they basically do the same thing as this icons here. So we have new project, open project, save. Uh, never use these, but you can. It's copy paste, pretty standard stuff. Undo. Uh, here you can switch to map elements and you can start drawing weird shit you know, whatever you want. Um, this is events, so you double click and then you start modding. I will go over all this soon, but just to familiar, familiarize you guys. I haven't used this, but I plan to for bigger cities because our first setting is going to be pretty big. This is a, what is it called, region. So um, I'm actually not too sure. This either is used for the actual world map or for the actual big map, but um, I'm not sure because I can't switch right now, but I'll figure it out later. Right for right now, we don't need it for today. Uh, this just switches the um, the scale. If we go back, these options will unlock, and we can draw stuff. Uh, the box does this. Uh, circle does something like that. Um, shadow, you can draw shadows to whatever you want. I don't care really. And uh, flood fill. I don't even know what that is. Ah, okay. Gotcha. All right. And then you have the database in which you have all of your things. And we will go over all of these tabs later. So this is where. Um, this is where all your settings. We will we'll be primarily using it for. Um, uh, setting up the databases for skills and items and um, actors for more for NPCs but um, yeah like this stuff is pretty limited it doesn't allow you to actually customize the window colors or anything like that it's very limited here in these last two things um, next one over lets you import your own graphics so I have all of my stuff here uh, the next one over is scripts. We already already saw that. Music manager. Uh, you can create your own characters here and then export them. Haven't really messed around with this, but we can surely do that for NPCs. Uh, this links to your Steam account, I believe, and lets you load and unload. But um, it takes a while to get this going, and I never really use it. And then this obviously lets your test change, um, test your game. Uh, 